What's up, folks? Welcome back. Let's keep working on the 28GHz patch antenna array project. In last video, we noticed an issue. When I use the radiation element to form a 1 cross 6 array, there is a frequency shift caused by fringing effect. So the resonant frequency of the element at the edge is different from that at the middle of the array. You can find it here. Because their boundary conditions are different, so we need to increase the isolation between each patch element, which will reduce the difference. Let's try to add via fans around the patch to isolate the EM waves. Instead of adding dummy element at the edge, since I want to have an array with a smaller profile. Before we use the via, we need to consider two things. First, the minimum diameter the PCB factor can make. Second, the minimum pitch between two adjacent vias the PCB manual factor can make. A definition of the via, it is a metalized through hole. It can be used to link different copper layers. In this design, the via diameter and the pitch I used is based on the information I get from a company once I bought PCB from it. The via diameter is 0.25 mm and the pitch is 0.35 mm. This might differ from your PCB company's engineering capability. This is the patch antenna model we built last time. We need to use three extra parameters to control the via fans. First, via diameter. Second, via pitch. Third, the gap from the substrate edge to the via fans. If the via is too close to the patch antenna, the EM wave from the patch might couple with the via. Let's build the first via with a diameter of 0.25 mm. The distance between this via and the edge of the substrate is edge offside, which is 0.5 mm. Classify it into a new component. Via X1. Let's use translate to du duplicate this via. And form the first via fence in X direction. The distance between two adjacent vias is via pitch, which is 0.35 mm. We have the first via fence in X direction. 
by click the component via x1, we select all the via. It is clear and simple. This is the reason I classified objects in di into different components. Then we use mirror to build the second via fence in x direction and classify this via fence as via x2. By the same procedure, we built the via fence in y direction and classify this fence as via y1. Then use mirror function to build the second via fence in y direction and classify it as via y2. Now we have a patch antenna surrounded by via fence. We need to insert all the vias into the ground and the substrate. Let's run the simulation and check its performance.
Now we have the simulation results. Let's check its realized gain first. The realized gain is OK. Then we check the S1Y. The return loss is OK. We can increase the patch antenna width to increase its gain. Let's reset the width and run the simulation. We check the S1Y. The return loss is better. The realized gain is better. We save this project. and change the number of vias, which is easier for us to use it to build a 1 cross 6 array. Open a new project and import this patch antenna as a sub-project to build a 1 cross 6 array.
we use translate to duplicate it. The distance between two antennas is array space x. This, we set the distance as 5 mm. We run the simulation to check the array performance. Check S parameters. We find all the antenna elements are resonating at 28 GHz. Then we combine the four fields. and check the realized gain of the antenna array. The gain is over 12 dBi. It is good. Thanks for your watching. See you in next video.